being to interpret Kenya's rich heritage and offer a one stop for visitors to sample the country's rich heritage for both education and leisure. The Nairobi National Museum was initiated in 1910 by a group of enthusiastic naturalists under the then East Africa and Uganda Natural History Society. My name is Buckley and Stacey and together let's explore the National Nairobi Museum. When you walk into the Nairobi National Museum, it has nine must-see galleries, starting with the, the Hall of Kenya, and the Hall of Kenya is dedicated to highlighting the country's unique, tangible and intangible heritage. In this gallery, uh, Kenya's nature, culture and history meet, and then the objects on display are a testimony to the country's diverse and rich heritage. Going back in centuries, the stories and traditions of the people of Kenya are some of the most fascinating in the world. And the centerpiece of the whole of Kenya consists of hundreds of calabashes just celebrating the rich heritage of all communities in Kenya. Moving on, we can see the Joy Adamson's gallery. And of course, we know Joy Adamson was an illustrator, conservationist and an author known for her contribution in the conservation of Kenya's natural and cultural heritage, winning her an international acclaim. He was a colorful, at time, if at times controversial character whose work continues affecting how people view conservation. Much of her work is immortalized, not only in her illustrations, but in her books and films, which have been pivotal in preserving the diversity and richness of Kenya's people and its nature. gallery we can see is the cycles of life and uh, this represents among all the communities filtered through different stages from birth through young to old age death and transition into ancestry it samples like uh, cultural practices from Kenya's communities as associated with these different stages in life there is a wealth of material intangible cultural heritage to be appreciated in this particular gallery where you can see the ornaments which girls or even boys wore when they were being circumcised and uh, all sorts of uh, ceremonial costumes. The next gallery you can visit which has millions of species of birds is the Birds of East Africa Gallery. They came from far and wide in all colors, in all sizes, in all types, different colors, in all body shapes, in all mouth sizes, in all feet sizes, from the most primitive to the most advanced and found a home in the Birds of East Africa Gallery showcasing the rich diversity of birds in the region. As we know, East Africa is one of the richest regions for birds and it holds more than 1,300 bird species. We can see the living stone fly catcher, we can see the vultures, we can see uh, the storks, we can see isindus as most lawyers know these particular birds here yeah, and all other varieties of birds in this particular gallery.
As you move on, you can find the Great Hall of Mammals. The Great Hall of Mammals stresses the development of mammals over time with a focus on the uh, how they adapt to movement, feeding, and protection. This particular gallery confronts or looks gives the visitor with points of congruence as well as divergence in the makeup of the mammalian world, how they protect themselves, how they feed, their movement and everything can be found in this particular gallery. <laughs> at the back uh, past the bird sanctuary or the bird species you can find the statue of Ahmed the elephant and of course inside the gallery of mammals there's also the particular skull of Ahmed the elephant the most famous elephant in the world which is known for its large tusks and put under 24 hour protection in Marsabit National Park by Kenya's first president that is president <laughs> Moving on, we can see the Cradle of Mankind, which has a unique collection which points to Kenya as the Cradle of Humankind. And the gallery traces humans' existence as evidenced by fossils, that is fossils dating up to 1.9 million years ago across Kenya. This particular National Museum of Kenya holds more than 350,000 fossils in its collection about 700 which belong to ancient humans we have the proconsul africanas which is known to be 25 million years old we have the turkana boy that is 1.6 million years old and lots lots of other skulls You can also see the gallery for the history of Kenya, which highlights the major faces that is the pre-colonial Kenya, the period of colonial rule and dependent Kenya. Then we have the temporary exhibitions, the museums, temporary galleries, which highlight some of the most exciting contemporary artists and aspects of Kenya and Africa. The Nairobi Snake Park is an informative one-hour guided tour to the popular attraction and research facility for reptiles, breeding of snakes, located just adjacent of the Nairobi National Museums. There are crocodiles, uh, snakes, fish, and lots of other animals like tortoises. The Nairobi Snake Park is one of the National Museums of Kenya attractions located within the compound of the Nairobi National Museum. And on display, we can see cobras, puff adders, mambas, and the large African rock python found only in Kenya. Other animals include several species of crocodiles found in Africa and freshwater terrapins together with tortoises. 
the Nairobi Snake Park provides refuge and home for abandoned and unwanted reptiles, including giant tortoises that is still currently living at the park. So that sums up our video for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for our next adventure. Until next time, my name is Maclean Stacy and goodbye. Thank you.